to be another reason that CNBC and other financial analysts don't want to talk about gold is because of the message that gold is sending. Because what gold is telling you, and gold is making new highs the way it is, you know, continue about the first warning, which is that the inflation problem has not been solved. And the Fed is about to make it worse. You've got Powell out there saying, we're going to cut rates. And gold is giving him a big raspberry, right? The big thumbs down because gold prices are rising uh, as a result. Now, some people think, well, it's okay, right? If, if, if gold, gold's going to go up when, when rates go down. But if inflation was really coming down, then it wouldn't matter if the Fed cuts rates. Because gold is sensitive to real interest rates, not nominal interest rates. So if inflation was going down with interest rates, that wouldn't necessarily benefit gold. The reason that gold is benefiting from these rate cuts or the potential for rate cuts is that inflation is going up. And so that guarantees that real rates are coming down or, in fact, real rates will be negative, which I think they will be. And that is one reason that the price of gold is going up. And it should cause Jerome Powell and the rest of the Fed to say, you know what? We got to call off these rate cuts because we've announced our intention to cut rates and gold just went way up. It's like you launch a trial balloon and the balloon you know, got shot down. It crashed and burned. Look at the gold price. So, you know, that should cause the Fed to second guess and say, you know what? We're not cutting. The rate cuts are off. No cuts. Now, if they did that, maybe the price of gold would come back down. And that that that's what they should want, right? Because if gold is the canary in the coal mine, you want to keep that canary alive, right? You don't want that canary dead. And so the minute he, he he's acting kind of sick, you got to go, hold up. I got I to gotta change policy here. Uh, but they can't do that because the Fed's real agenda is not inflation. If it was, if the Fed really were concerned about inflation, especially given how it talks about the economy, right? The economy is great. The labor market is strong. Everything is great. Yet we're going to start cutting rates. I mean, maybe if the economy was really weak and unemployment was really high, you might say, you know, we're not really sure about inflation. We've got mixed signals, but, you know, we got all these unemployed people, you know, we, we're, we're, we're going to have to do something. We're going to have to cut rates. And if it means that inflation is a little higher, I guess that's a risk we're going to take. But if you're of the mindset that the economy is great, then why take that risk? Why start cutting rates? Why even tell the market that you're thinking about cutting rates? when the mere expression of that thought is going to complicate your problem. Because by telling the markets to expect rate cuts, that, that's an ease. That is causing commodity prices to rise, right? It's causing the gold price to rise. So it's making that goal even less attainable. So if the Fed was hoping that inflation was going to come down to 2%, by admitting that they thought that that was going to happen, and that they're going to cut rates, they now made it so much less likely that it actually will happen. It's you claim you claim success, and that claim assures that you fail. So what Powell should do is keep his mouth shut and not tell anybody that he's thinking about cutting interest rates, even if he is, and and don't let the markets know that. There could be another reason that CNBC and other financial analyst don't want to talk about gold is because of the message that gold is sending. Because what gold is telling you, and gold is making new highs the way it is. And gold is not just some commodity. I mean, it is a commodity, but it's a special commodity. Right? So if, let's say, pork bellies were making a new high every day, all right, I mean, I could forgive CNBC for not talking about it. Right. I mean, it's just one commodity. Right. I mean, it's not that significant. But gold is special because of the monetary 
properties and the monetary role that gold plays. I mean, if anything can be said to be the canary in the coal mine, it's gold. And, and so you've got this warning. And nobody is paying attention to the message, even reporting that the warning bell has been sounded. What is gold telling people if they're smart enough to listen? What gold is screaming is that what the Fed is contemplating is a mistake. That cutting interest rates, whenever these cuts begin, is the wrong policy. That interest rates are actually too low and they need to go up. But the Federal Reserve and the financial media are ignoring this warning. And the investors, I mean, you know, they they, they are clueless, right? The warning is falling on, on, on deaf ears. And maybe one of the reasons is they don't even know that the warning's been sounded because the financial media is got radio silence on this stealth gold rally. And imagine, too, if the public knew that gold was going up and they had some inkling of why, they'd be buying, too. Imagine how much higher the price of gold would be right now if the American public was actually buying it. Or if they weren't selling it, which is what they have been doing, they've been liquidating. I think the liquidations now maybe have you know come to a come to an end. I'm not sure, but for months and months, all year, they have been selling gold through the GLD. Meanwhile, this is one of the best years ever. I mean, maybe this is the best start to a year. I haven't researched it yet, but if it's not the best year ever, it's one of them. Right? We're up. I don't know what we're up. Fourteen percent or fifteen percent this year. In, in in the price of gold. Um, but that's with the public selling gold, right? Who's buying it? I mentioned it in previous podcasts. It's foreign central banks. They're the ones that are buying. And maybe other uh, wiser individuals in, in, in Asia. That's why we have these big rallies overnight. And then we have sell-offs here in the United States. 